get racing and they're off to a great start with 499 is going to go ahead and you know take it nice and easy nothing to the uh hopefully we're not going to see any crashes you know coming into this uh this first corner which can be quite a doozy yeah, they're going to follow each other through quite well. He's, he's moving in close now with a major Castleman. Um, see if he's going to make an attempt. He's trying. Here. He's trying his best. Major with a great defense, keeping him at bay for now. I got a feeling that he's doing their thing, trying to, to not get lapped. You know, that would be really unfortunate for them. But, you know, any kind of crash or, or car, a safety car is going to easily bring him back up. There's your overtake as well, too, Zap just back. from Major on Ruby with there that DRS. That was lap. Just and what's up on Perpetual Rain? He's gone around somewhere. Trying to find him. Oh, Jesus, I hate trying to do this series. He's got no oh, damage. No. He's just gone off track. That wasn't too bad. He only lost a couple of, you know, uh, I think, what, six spots? Um, so really unfortunate. He did something wrong. We're having uh, somebody off, and you can see on that track map, that's the white dot. Is that Stoney? Yes, it is. Stoney's lost a complete front wing. Well, that oh, no. I don't know if we're bringing out a safety car. No. You know, who needs a... Who needs yes, yes, but... When you're, when you're following a car, so, you know, you tend to sometimes, rather than you're spotting your breaking point, you're kind of, like, yeah. accidentally looking at their breaking point, or we're responding to them as well. <laughs> yeah, we're we have that. here. And Kermit, oh, ooh, Kermit Johns has dropped a position here somewhere, so he's made a mistake. He has. He's made a massive oh. mistake. Oh, no. The Ferrari fans are not happy campers right now, seeing that. He's already been today. He doesn't want to spend any more time out there, you know. This isn't brought to you by Coleman. He won't be camping out in the in the woods today. Shelby wanted that camping gear up so bad. And he reset the track, which is a bit of a no-no. They call it resetting track. I think that's going to be an overtake soon. It will be right now on cue. That's the... Yeah, because he's got new boots, remember? So they... Yep. Yeah, two laps were versing, getting pretty old, worn, soft tires now. Ten, he's sitting that's, ten seconds. That's pretty significant. That's, that's really significant. Pit lane battle Are coming out of the pit lane as well, too. Perpetual Rain and True North Racing coming straight out side by side. Just out of Kremie Jones down the road. Ooh. If he boxes now. now. Let's say, oh. theoretically, you stayed on oh. these... Oh, Hannes lost the front wing. Sorry. To cut you oh, off there. No. I was just wondering why Again? he was dropping. No, he didn't lose the front wing before. It was, there was the front wing? Uh, was one of the other drivers? I can't remember which one now. I thought it was going to have the best boots, remember? Those boots, boots will be make, make for walking when it comes to Buffy Dave, or for rolling. See how that plays out in, into the, uh, you know, the final end of this, of these, of this race. But coming through. down the main straight there. Now get out ahead. I don't think True North Racing should be able to do too much about that because uh, Ruby's got those fresh uh, boots. This, this gap between so close to that, uh, that could be a huge game changer, and, and Major would love to see. It. I think that could be a strategy play as well to try to conserve the tires, perhaps. Uh, keep each other at bay, but it seems like the only thing they're keeping at bay right now are these gaps, because uh, with the exception of Leo and Stoney, they're still pushing you know, quite a significant amount of time. Now Shea has moved up to about two seconds behind Ruby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Job done. He's trying his best. To, trying his you know, best. And, you know, and around he goes. We've lost somebody. What a great Yellow. The other oh, Mercedes. No! So one Mercedes gains yeah, the position, Mercedes. another one goes down. Oh, unfortunate. He lives to see another day, but it doesn't look like any damage. They've been at it for a little bit, I think. Was it? And was it true North Racing? Oh, there it is. He just had a bit of a spin, mate. So. Oh, and of course. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's really. <laughs> we need to stop cutting the people because that's that's the second person we've cut to that has the spin out. It's what I do. And what's it's the commentator's this? curse? Donald's gets his first one. Oh, there it is. But it's still it's still where Major's got six seconds, so he's still covering okay. But that's good pressure. That's Major. All he needs to do is apply the pressure. I say. But these corner cutting ones won't. Sometimes these other five-second penalties of like, here we go. There's a, there's a graphic up there for the tire performance. Look at that. As you can see, McDonald's is used a lot more. Fifty-eight percent. That's the reason why he's losing a little bit of time. But he just needs to keep it on the track right now because he's got that advantage. Look at that distance between. <laughs> he's going for it. He's going for it. He's got it. He has got it. Let's see if he can hold it. <laughs> yeah. Petrol rain. I think wants it back from Fluffy. Is he going to get it over here? No. We're going to have to wait for another lap between those two gladios. And you know that extra time that... The last that time, there's looking a bit of a leg glitch there. Like a Matrix glitch on Fluffy Dave, but... This should be an overtake done. 
around the outside for the last time on the last lap there. If he can make it stick, he has. That's the Aston Martin up the Pepe Treasure Road. That's a battle for that P3. And he's just left and let him through. Oh, He's let him oh, through to win nice the race. Ball. He let him take the checker. Now that is sportsmanship right there. That absolutely. Absolute 50,000 screaming Tafosi fans here in Italy because the Ferrari has won the Italian Imola Grand Prix. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on where that was, but there it is. The man on the top step of the podium. McDonald's combo has done it absolutely again and in front of his home crowds. Congratulations. That's more points in the championship. And get to taste that Ferrari champagne.